other ways we're going to proceed to save the $54 million. Where's his outline and proposal to do that? If you're telling me you're going to go to Moody's, and you go to Moody's, and Moody's says there's a $60 million projected uh, deficit, mm -hmm. here I am with $6 million in my hand, Moody's is going to laugh in your face. So where's the proposal? As I said earlier, this has nothing to do with finances. I'm, I'm enough of a lawyer to know it's a pretext. You can see a pretext a mile away. These are people who wanted to close that facility and privatize that facility and give it to somebody. Now, we know who they wanted to give it to earlier. We all know who it was. People who had an interest in it and who had an interest in it and were running it to the ground so the county would sell it consonant with their interest. We know that the political party, the Republican political party, was deeply involved in it because Bill de Prospo, the head of the Republican party, was going up to Essex County selling his services as a purveyor of nurse privatizing nursing homes while he was doing the same thing in Orange County behind the scenes. So we know exactly the people who are involved and want to benefit from this financially. What the new county executive has done has other tragic elements to it. A person runs for political office, a young person who's obviously highly ambitious, and he tells the public one thing on a critical issue, and within a few months of coming into office, he reverses course on a very significant issue and starts doing something really the opposite. And then having done that, he continues to tell the public that's not his objective. His objective is to keep Valley View. It's a strange way of keeping it. The fact is that a local development corporation has no business in this anyway. It has nothing to do with this. Local development corporations are established in New York to spur, to spur, S-P-U-R, economic development and job creation. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with what we're doing here. 